I think everyone needs a person in their life who they can call their external corrective mechanism. So the brain is like a bunch of instincts with like instinctive corrective mechanisms laid on top. But the thing is, the brain's always looking out. He's often looking out for the brain. Um, and also just doesn't have the perspective to see a lot of its own cognitive mistakes, cognitive errors. So everybody needs someone who you tell them what you're thinking about something and you have, to, and, and it's somebody that you trust, that you love, uh, that you respect and so on. And it's the other way around because they should also, you should also be providing the same service to them. And then you share what you have to, what, what you think it is. And they go, no, that's wrong. Um, in response to some things. Now, of course, they have to demonstrate it. But the, the thing is, is that you have to give them a chance. So with these trusted people, you have to, there has to be rules uh, to, to, to sort of guarantee that you will be able to hear this person correct you, uh, that you will be able to see that they are right should they be right. Um, so with this person, you do not defend, you do not, uh, you do not justify. You ask questions and you try to understand what they're saying. Of course, this person has to be someone that you trust, right? So someone who knows that the error they point out might not be an error at all. Um, and which is why it's someone that you're, you know, you don't trust them about whether it's a correction, but you trust them with the opportunity to show you the mistakes by just going, okay, I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. Say I'm wrong about all that. You're saying I should just listen to you right now. And then I'm just stuck in a self-justifying ridiculous loop. All right. Well, you're my external corrective measure. So, all right. I'm listening. <laughs>